good morning, everybody. So we're doing, um, <clears throat> we're in the book of Mark still, um, chapter 53. And um, that's just a few little words before I get started on this. Uh, I had a great weekend with um, my spouse, um, Juliana, and we had a successful uh, fundraiser at her headquarters in Los Angeles. And um, it was called, uh, the fundraiser was um, having to do with um, a film called Love is Never Silent, which she co, she was a co-executive producer of that film. And actually she peddled that film in Hollywood. She was there for 14 years, but seriously peddled it, if you will, uh, for 10 years. And finally got somebody to, um, uh, join in to want to to make the the film. She went to Warner Brothers to every single brother that there was, and um, NBC and CBS and so forth. And finally, Hallmark Hall of Fame, uh, in exchange for keeping them solvent, wanted um, to help deaf people who uh, were the ones that uh, were buying cards. Uh, to send to each other uh, actually kept them solvent. So in, in repayment of that, they wanted to help make the film. So it, uh, you know, we raised some um, money and I don't know the exact amount, but it was substantial and um, uh, I hope anyway. Um, and uh, so, uh, it, you know, it was a successful time. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to um, to share with you is that um, it, to remember to pray for our leaders, even though there's a lot of things going on on Facebook about Me Too and Twitter and what have you, and and then of course jumping on Trump, and we have to remember that we are to bring our love forward in ourselves. And we are to love ourselves. And once we love ourselves, we, we are able to replace anger, hate, depression, negativity, frustration um, with that love, okay? It just sort of happens. And when you forgive, then you're able to move on. And you can't move on until you forgive. That's why the Lord told us to do that. Um, and so you have to do the work. You have to forgive and um, look in yourselves too, as your part, your role in things, and work on that and 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 move on. And so, um, you don't necessarily have to forget, um, and and you don't necessarily have to um, have a relationship with those people uh, that have hurt you or wronged you in some way. Um, unless you want to and we are to love our enemies and love you know God is pure love and he he loves even those who we hate okay he loves them and that's a hard nut to crack you know to get around for me too so um, keep that in your mind all right so we're in uh, uh, Mark, uh, we finished uh, chapter 14, I stopped it at verse 53, and let me continue with that. And so they led Jesus away to the high priest, and with him were assembled all the chief priests and elders and scribes. And Peter followed him afar off, even to the palace of the high priest, and he sat with the servants and warmed himself at the fire. And the chief priests all the council sought for witnesses against Jesus to put him to death and found none. For many bear false witness against him, but their witness agreed not together. And there arose certain and bear false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and within three days I will build another made without hands. But neither so did their witness agree together. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, saying, Answer thou nothing that it 
is which these witness against thee? And he held his peace and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said unto him, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am. And you shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of the power and coming into the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes and said, What need we any further witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. And some began to spit on him and cover his face and to buffet him and to say unto him, Prophesy. And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. And Peter was beneath in the palace. There cometh one of the maids of the high priest. She saw Peter warming himself, and she looked up on him and said, Thou wast with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand I what thou sayest. And he went out into the porch, and the cock crew. The maid saw him again and began to say to them that stood by, This is one of them. And he denied it again. And a little after that, they stood by, said again to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thou art a Galilean. And a speech agreed thereto. And he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom you speak. And the second time the cock crew. And Peter called to mind the word that Jesus said unto him, Before the cock crows twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he thought thereon and wept. Chapter 15, The Crucifixion and Burial of Christ Straight away in the morning the chief priests held a constellation with the elders and scribes and the whole council, and bound Jesus and carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answered, answering, said unto him, Thou sayest it. And the chief priest accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him again, saying, Answer thou nothing? Behold, how many things they witness against thee. And Jesus said, answered, and Jesus yet answered nothing, so that Pilate marveled. Now at that feast he released unto them one prisoner, whomsoever they desired. And there was one named Barabbas, which lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him and who had committed murder in the insurrection. And the multitude crying aloud said, began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answered them and saying, Will ye that I release unto you the king of the Jews? And he answered that the chief priests had delivered him for envy. And the chief priests moved the people that he should rather release Barabbas unto them. And Pilate answered and said again unto them, What ye then that I shall do unto him whom you call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Why, what evil has he done? And they cried out more exceedingly, Crucify him. And so Pilate, willing to contend the people, released Barabbas unto them and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away into the hall called Paratorium, and they called together the whole band. And they clothed him with purple and plaited a crown of thorns and put it about his head and began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews! And they smote him on the head with a reed and did spit upon him and bowing their knees worshipped him and when they mocked him and took him off the purple from him and put his own clothes on him and led him out to crucify him they compelled one Simon a Cyrenian who passed by coming out of the country the father of Alexander and Rufus to bear his cross they bring him in sorry they bring him into the palace of Golgotha 
which is being interpreted the place of the skull. And they gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, but he received it not. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, casting lots upon them, what every man should take. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. And the description of his accusation was written over him, the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two thieves, one on his right and one on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, He was numbered with transgressors. And they that passed by railed on him, wagging their heads and saying, Ah, thou that destroyeth the temple and buildest it in three days. Save yourself and come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking said among themselves with the scribes, He saved others, himself he cannot save. Let Christ the King of Israel descend now from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him reveled him. And the sixth hour was come in the darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. In the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama, sabak denai, which is being interpreted as, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of them that stood by when they heard it said, Behold, he calleth Elijah. And one ran and filled the sponge full of vinegar and put it a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Let alone let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. And when the centurion, which stood over against him, saw that he so cried out and gave up the ghost, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. And there was also a woman looking on afar off, among whom Mary, Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and the less of Joseph and Salome, who also, when he was in Galilee, followed him and ministered unto him, and many other women which came up with him into Jerusalem. Now then, when even was come, because he was in, was in preparation, that is the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor, which also awaited for the kingdom of God, came and went in boldly unto Pilate and craved the body of Jesus and said, Pilate marveled that he was already dead and calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead and he knew it, the centurion gave the body to Joseph. And he brought the fine linen, took him down, wrapped him in linen, laid him in a sculptor, which was hewn out of rock and rolled stone, unto the door of the sceptre, sepulcher. And Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, beheld where he was laid. And that's the end of the chapter. One more chapter, and then we'll be in the book of Luke. Luke. Love you guys. Um, I'll try to finish this chapter before I leave this morning. I hope you have a wonderful, marvelous week. Remember, be kind and loving to each other. Okay, love you. Bye-bye.